Cardi B is here for the people. The I Like It rapper is ready to continue her political commentary after her take on the government shutdown went viral last week. Among those impressed by Cardi's report of the shutdown was Stephen Colbert, who started a petition to get her to deliver the Democratic Party's official rebuttal to President Donald Trump's State of the Union address. Thousands of people have signed the petition in agreement, leading Cardi to respond on Friday afternoon. Why not, Cardi wrote on Twitter, after a string of crying laughing emojis. I get straight to the point. Government shutdown over. Trump announced on Friday that after the longest shutdown in U.S. history, he and the Senate had reached a deal to reopen the government and give back pay to the many federal workers harmed by the 35-day standoff. Funding for his border wall was not part of the deal. Among the celebrities reacting to the news on social media was Cardi who, in the aftermath of her commentary on the shutdown, was attacked by conservative pundit Tommy Lauren. The rapper replied to Lauren's criticism at the time with, Leave me alone I will dog walk you, inspiring a Twitter user to suggest that Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi had dog walked Trump. Basically, Cardi added, Cardi didn't hold back in her response to Trump's ordering some federal workers to go back to work without getting paid earlier this month. Now I know a lot of you all don't care because you all don't work for the government or you all probably don't even have a job but this SHT is really fking serious, bro. This SHT is crazy, she explained. Our country is in a hellhole right now all for a fking wall and we really need to take this serious. I feel like we need to take some action. I don't know what type of action, bch, cause this is not what I do, but bitch I'm scared, Cardi added. This is crazy and I really feel bad for these people who need to go to fking work to not get motherfking paid.